Hi, I'm Jamie Perry. I'm in the performing arts category and I play the violin. So I started playing violin when I was five years old, so I'm currently 28. So the math, somewhere in between there, a long time, 20 plus years. Uh, there weren't too many uh, black women playing strings, uh, especially in Houston uh, where I was, but there's a, of course a cr an incredible amount of people who are doing it now, but as I was growing up, not too many. I think it's important for black people to see representation through the arts um, because we are part of the world. Like everyone that is involved in anything, there's art everywhere. So I feel like especially seeing someone that looks like you doing the thing that you love or that inspires you, um, we should have that representation everywhere so that we can give other people um, just they can see that they have a vision and they can go in that direction if they'd like to. Um, my art, what I'm doing now, I think is a part of black history because it's sort of the first that's ever been done. So I play violin, but I play gospel violin. So I'm kind of carving a little bit of a lane, which I think is cool, but it's also, you know, kind of scary. But I know God has a plan and I'm just grateful that there's a lane opening up for this. And I think it'll be really cool just to see what God has in store. So being black is dope. I love it, it's incredible. It's so individual, but so uh, communal. Like everybody's around, like you see people you know, you see people that you're, you look like and you're like, yo, what's up? And you've never seen them in your life. You've never talked to them. You've never heard a single thing about them, but you just feel that fam familial pull and you like just feel that vibe with them. I just think it's really dope that our community is so widespread, but so individual. I would like other black people to see me and know that there's an option that you can go in a different direction and God will still blow your mind. Um, you know, I play the violin. That's like not necessarily a you know African-American thing. Um, if you look at it from a very pointed point of view, but I believe that God opened this door for me so that other people can rush through the door. So it's not just for me. Um, and I'm grateful that I was chosen to even crack the door open so that somebody else could see, oh, look, that's an option. So I just feel like, yeah, that, yeah. So my like vision, dream, like big thing, I want to be one of the most sought after violinists in the world for any genre, any artist, any whatever, like, because I feel like God can be present in all places, right? So no matter what you're playing, no matter where you are, like his light can shine. So my goal and vision and Lord, please do it. I want to be everywhere, everywhere playing with everyone and really spreading the word, spreading the gospel, spreading love, spreading good music and just having a good time. The moment that solidified my career as an artist was getting this position. Um, and being part of the Wheeler Band is like, of course, we don't really see it everywhere. It's a different thing. So the fact that God is fired Brother Leon and I sent him the long email, if you know, you know, um, sending him the email and asking him if I could be a part of the ministry and him saying yes and just all of it lining up for the good. Um, that was the moment that really shifted everything. Um, and it took me a while to get my footing. It took me a long time to really figure out like, how is this actually gonna work? Cause I just came from this huge classical background and I don't know how to, I don't know how to do any of that, you know? Um, so just learning that and like having the room to grow and develop, of course, under the word, under the spirit, like, and really allowing that gift to uh, come to fruition how it is now. Um, that was really coming here and like really connecting God with what I'm doing really just changed the game for me. So yeah. Perfect.